What's up, everybody? Sebastian's back for Brado YouTube video. So right now it's six thirty. I left the house at six o'clock, and basically, like, yeah, I'm on my way to do a one hundred kilometer bike ride. Okay. So the other day on the Belgian coast, I'm on the Belgian coast now. The other day I did eighty kilometers, which was my record, which was double of what I did the year before. Okay. Uh, the other day I did 80 kilometers, and today I'm gonna strive to do like 120 kilometers. Okay, and yeah, I decided I'll get early start in the morning, and look at that, like literally no one's awake. And it's so nice waking up, going for a bike ride, staying nice and healthy, and like reaching your fitness goals, you know, it's just great. So yeah, I'm like basically wearing uh, a t-shirt like that. I have my um, my bag with me, I have some money, and yeah, it's just great. And basically like, I really, really, really love this bike. Because like it has like these handlebars and like a really, really thin tire, which like goes very fast. and. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this goal, like, there's no way I'll fail it. And yeah. And I just wanna motivate all of you, go out in the morning. Stop going on Wi-Fi, uh, staying in bed, slacking off. Like, just go and do something, like, do something fun, like, go for a bike ride, you know? And like, because these, why do I do this? Because like, Doing this now will help you do longer distances in the future, you understand? So doing this now will help you be able to run more, um, bike more, etc, 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 okay? It will help you in the future, it will help you be more strong, live longer, be more healthy. Because this biking is very, very good for the heart, okay? Now you might be wondering, how do I go about riding 100 kilometers in a day? Okay, how do you go about it, okay? So I'm gonna give it a couple tips, so like that you can follow the exact same tips and just kill it in life, okay? So the first tip, what you need to do is, you need to have I can do it mindset, okay? That's the first tip, because if you have I can't do it mindset, guess what, you won't even get out of your house. You'll be like, oh, 100 kilometers is too much, I'm just not gonna do it, and I'm gonna stay home in bed. You're gonna slack off of it, okay? So, the thing is, here you need to shift the I can't do it mindset to I can do it mindset, okay? Because once you have the I can do it mindset, that will get you out of the house, okay? The second tip I have for you is to take your time. You're not in a wash, okay? You want to store off slow. Store off slow. Because the first time when I did the 80 kilometers, I went fast at the beginning, yet at the end, I was really slow. Why did that happen? Because I did not pace myself. You need to pace yourself, okay? So what do I mean by pacing yourself? I mean just ride what feels most natural, okay? So let's say, for example, you're on first, okay? And then you feel, oh, I'm going a bit faster than first gear. Then you shift it to second, oh. And then you realize, okay, does, does the second gear, for example, match the pedaling? If it doesn't, no. If it's not, it doesn't, and you go a bit more than fast, uh, second, then you shift to third or fourth gear, okay? Adjust the speed. You see, I'm adjusting the speed, you see? Okay, now for that point, I'm going a bit faster than Fifth, shift it. Six, sevens. Let's see, sevens. Seventh feel natural. Mm, not really. Okay. I'm gonna shift down to sixth. 
You understand what I mean? Okay? So, this will really, really help you get full. Because if you, for example, stay on seventh the whole time when you're going slow, you're gonna, you're gonna be very, very exhausted. Okay? So, the dirt tip I have for you to ride 100 kilometers slash biking tip to get you further is to, is to dress well, okay? Have a nice cool t-shirt, have your shorts, bring some water, okay? Also, along the way, do some pauses to drink and also like, for example, always have a check mark, okay? So, along the way, okay, let's say you get a bit exhausted, okay? Let's say I, I'm like, oh, I don't want to continue. I don't want to continue. It's so for half checkpoints along the way. For example, to the next village, to the next gas station, you can see, etc, etc, etc. Because this will help you, like, for example, it's like, your, for example, your ultimate goal is to do 100 kilometers, okay? So then along the way, you can do, okay, okay, first I do like 300 meters, and then 300 meters, and then 300 meters, okay? For example, right now I'm riding, okay? And like, I'm like, a bit tired, let's say, okay? But I remember my ultimate goal, and then it's like, I remember, okay, I'm gonna ride until that gas station, okay? And it's like, once I'm past that gas station, I'm like, okay, let's continue to the next village. You know, and you'll realize, like, whoa, I already did one kilometer, I already did the next kilometer, the next kilometer, the next kilometer, and the next kilometer. Okay, like this will really, really help you, okay? So it's like right now, it's like you see, okay, oh, I did a check point to the gas station. Whoops, I'm past the gas station. Okay? So, the next tip I have for you is don't be afraid to relax along the way. Okay, so let's say, for example, you're dusty, okay? Obviously, you do not want to drink all of your water at once, okay? So it's like do a, do a check mark, like I did a check mark, okay? Once I do 13 kilometers, I'm gonna have to drink, okay? And this will keep your motivation, like, oh, like your discipline, like, like, oh, once I do the 13 kilometers, then I'm gonna have to drink. Okay, then I'm gonna have to, to fuel my body with water. Okay, and this will help you, like, in a way, like, to keep the quantity of water you have for the 100 kilometers there, you understand? And it will help you, like, your mind, like, just continue pushing. Just continue pushing a tiny bit more, okay? Like, right now, I'm really, like, at 10 kilometers. Um, I had done a few kilometers while the camera was off. So, yes, yeah, sorry for my camera shutting off, but it's just great, you know? And it's, like, just great training. So, yeah, these were my tips I had for you. Um, feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you enjoyed. Hope they really help you out to bike further, to motivate you to do sport, get out of your comfort zone, stop calling on Facebook, instead like do this here, and just fucking kill it in life. Okay, so peace out.